Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Half the Race Gone for the March edition of the Audi TT Cup, the actual showdown. Here from uh, the Red Bull ring tonight, it is my utmost of, I need to grab my coffee, but it's my utmost of uh, pleasure to uh, bring you this event tonight. And we've been uh, looking forward to it indeed with a strong international field with a couple of uh, known faces, a couple of, for me, very unknown faces, and then some famous boys in between, almost, you could say. <laughs> but anyways, it is always a pleasure having you all along uh, for yet another GT Sport broadcast here on the channel. Something that I personally do indeed love doing to the bone. It is a uh, great fun indeed, and I feel like it's been a long time, so uh, surely... Uh, well excited for this one. Evening to uh, Bellin, Round Robbins and uh, Netso, who's joined us already as the the guys are doing uh, their warm-up. Shasse, who uh, won one of the two races at our uh, shakedown event at the Nürburgring. Well, he set the fastest lap so far. We're watching Martin Favhausen, the NES NTSR uh, known face who's uh, made his mark on the channel with a number of appearances and uh, and become a good and I can say this as a <laughs> as a uh, what is that called anyways a community manager of some kind uh, a very nice community member as well so uh, we have a uh, calm taking uh, taking part from Canada and uh, it'll be interesting to see uh, what kind of pace he's along. Not the only one from uh, that side of the pond. We also have the Racing Swordsman. What a name! A fantastic name, I have to say. Racing Swordsman, who uh, <laughs> who's racing tonight. Better be careful when you get into those uh, close door-to-door -door battles, because you might get cut. <laughs> But anyways, let's get into detail with this um, event for tonight. We are uh, running a Super Bowl qualifying format, so it means just one single lap to make it count in qualifying. And then um, two races um, of... Uh, it's going to be 20 and 25 minutes of around that, but it's going to be counted out in laps, of course. Uh, the first race based on qualifying session, the Super Bowl, and then the second race with reverse grid based on qualifying results. So, uh, sure, it's going to make for some uh, interesting action, as it did the last time out as well. And also, um, ABS is off, so no ABS, and uh, I don't think they'll be running uh, any traction control or anything. I think it's no assists, if I'm not uh, completely mistaken. Still a couple of drivers warming up though uh, most are getting ready for this uh, super pole that's getting uh, quite close to kickoff just a couple of moments away and just to take you through uh, zero assists available thanks uh, kenny for uh, just confirming that as vrs stick just makes it i know he's been uh, on a long <laughs> way home uh, but uh, interesting that he's also uh, with us here tonight. Certainly a driver who knows his racecraft. Of course, uh, Dr. Hash alongside Shasse organizing this uh, entire thing. We have NES organizer of Apple joining us. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how Apple fares along uh, the radish or the peasant, as some would call him, <laughs> to see how he fares along uh, today. As I mentioned before, then the racing swordsman and Karm. We also have uh, Tripta, Tripta 1988 from Portugal, joining us uh, on track. And then we have uh, Book, <laughs> and that's probably I think that 68 re is not supposed to be. So we're just gonna call him Book. But anyways, uh, Book is uh, the latest. Joiner, I think, uh, at the moment on track. Still in pits, but uh, of course, uh, a finished driver. So uh, you'd expect him to be fast indeed. So 
So Martin Feifheisen still getting busy here with the warm-up on his way through turn one. A brilliant opportunity to just have a look at the Red Bull ring for uh, anyone who's uh, not completely familiar, although I would expect all of our viewers to be familiar with this track in this layout. It's certainly one of the more famous, it's one of the more uh, used, both in racing here in Europe, but uh, definitely also in racing games where it tends to always be there. And you would uh, understand it's of course a part of Red Bull's strategy of always being uh, visible. And then down, so it's make uh, Martin made his way through uh, turn two here. Turn three, it seems like he opts for what looked like a handbrake turn. Interesting indeed. <laughs> Book. Buke, I don't know. <laughs> Can you? I don't know how to say it. <laughs> but anyway, uh, of course, a very good evening to anyone uh, just joining here. Uh, we are getting close to our Super qu pull qualifying session. And I should say, I should mention that also we will be featuring tonight um, the first time on this channel at least. A concept that shall be uh, known henceforth as uh, Red versus Black, which is going to be two teams of uh, up to seven. It's going to be uh, consisting of... Uh, it's going to be consisting of uh, a Ford Mustang gr Group 3 road car. That's uh, going to be the car to make the finish line. And then some Charger Hellcats that's on each team that'll be uh, allowed to wreck the others or defend. And it's going to be a five lap race. So whoever team gets their car across the line first is going to be the winner. I think it's going to be a huge amount of fun. Evening to Martin as well. Best of luck. And uh, best of luck as well to uh, Kenny, of course. Um, So certainly we should be getting close to qualifying by now, but we might just be waiting for uh, the last couple of attendees. Also, I've heard rumors that we will be um, the host. So five minutes till qualifying goes live. But five minutes is not really that long of a wait, is it? I think we can make do with it. <laughs> so it's a big pleasure being back here at the Red Bull Ring. Always a track that makes for some exciting racing. Is and I would especially expect it here <laughs> in a one make and <laughs> then to run without ABS. It's gonna be it's gonna be a sight <laughs> worthy to uh, worthy of beholding. I think <laughs> here uh, Tripta ooh Tripta gets it wide in the final sector. So as mentioned before, Super Bowl qualifying format, then followed by uh, two heats of racing. And in between those two heats of racing, we'll also be featuring our first, well, what's, what could remotely be called sponsorship, but what isn't really sponsorship, which is more uh, some kind of uh, mutual promotional agreement that uh, the organizers of this race has uh, agreed to with the German um, singer. <laughs> And uh, German singer Melarima, and she's uh, releasing her new single tomorrow. And we shall be uh, listening to one of her songs and be uh, checking out a special designed livery with some info of hers going around track between the two heats. So do uh, notice this um, newfound professionalism and this professional, deeply professional <laughs> approach we're taking here on the channel. I think it's going to be uh, 
I think it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be fun in its own way. Evening to everyone who's just joining in. Now we're getting very close to a qualifying session. Come again, all <laughs> Tron. It's um, <laughs> the organizers of um, this series of racing has somehow. I don't know how, but they somehow uh, made this uh, mutual promotional agreement. So this uh, Melarima, this uh, German singer, she'll uh, promote the racing here and the stream here tonight in turn, I think, on her uh, social media account. And in turn, we will uh, give her a bit of promotion to you. And I'm expecting all of you to uh, become huge Melarima fans by tonight. So uh, make no mistake of that. <laughs> So, uh, an evening to you as well, Tron, always um, a pleasure uh, to have you along. Same goes for uh, VLX Rene, I hope you are enjoying your uh, Monday nights. And I hope that I can uh, bring you a good start to the week. So here is um, Shasa still with the fastest lap. Mind you, it's uh, only racing hearts and the uh, lobby settings is uh, heavy damage on. It's uh, fuel and tires at uh, times one or at the natural rate, you could say. Shas has done well. Can't really see how close these other drivers are actually getting to that 137.7. Anyways, this is the start of the qualifying session. We're just waiting for the track to launch. There it is. Super pole session is on. So a warm up lap for everyone, and then a single lap of qualification to make it count. As we're following the racing swordsman as he makes his way out the pits. Kenny also quick to leave the pit lane indeed. And I want to make sure that I'm just seeing everyone on track. Oh, okay, I guess they're not. Okay, but it's, guys, you know, it's GT Sport, and you're always like, when you don't see someone in the lobby, <laughs> always become like, is this, oh, is this lobby issues? What's going on? But uh, it seems we're good. It seems we're fine and fine and dandy. <laughs> and um, the racing swordsman, as mentioned before, he's uh, first out the pits, followed by Kenny, then it's uh, Smilehead. We're going to be seeing Off Apple, Carm, Martin, Schosse and Tripta. That's the running order at the moment. Some of the cars quite close actually further down the, the track. And uh, certainly also a little bit closer than I would recommend for uh, qualifying laps. And I think we will be seeing them spread out a little bit here. Racing Swordsman to go first. The American... Was a little wide from uh, turn one. Kenny keeps it very tidy indeed. And there is Smilehead joining us once again as well. Always a struggle to keep it in within the lines, but also a, a corner where official rules are all oh, Smilehead getting hit by a big six second penalty for going wide on the exit of turn one. And there's a big surprise that Racing Swordsman didn't get hit by that penalty because he was further out, it seemed. Calm also on his way here now through turn one alongside Martin Fabhausen. And the rest of the field, we have a couple of cars in pit 
with Triptor and Smilehead. And that the question is, will they be just opting not to qualify and to start from the front of the grid at race two and in turn the back from race one? That would be a viable strategy. I guess it is pretty much the same as putting in a pole position for the first race in the end. Racing Swordsman about to complete his flying lap. And what's it gonna be for the American? It's gonna be into the 40s, I think. Just so. Kenny crosses the line for a 38.9. So let's see, our next driver to cross the line is off Apple, the Nuke Shot Endurance Series organizer. Let's see how he comes along. Down towards the final two right-handers. And this last one, the run to the finish line, so important. Use that banking. Wide on that exit. And it's somewhat off the pace. Karm goes quickest for the time being with a 38.7. And Martin Fayperson, I think he's had some kind of in. Oh, Dr. Hash there, third fastest, just about two and a half tenths down. Halbstack, just over a second down. So a lot of drivers just crossing the line there. Next one up is uh, Schiosse. Oh, and Schiosse picks up a penalty there late on the lap. And that's going to cost him a lot of time indeed. That's going to put him far down the order in eighth position. 2.3 seconds down. And indeed, Kenny, I also think that uh, those drivers being hammered with the penalties by the by the PD, the harsh PD judges, they're harsh on everywhere except for turn one, and it's still a question of how. Yeah, it's a they are. Uh, they're a cryptic team of <laughs> a cryptic jury indeed. Let's see here as Buke or Book or uh, Book goes uh, fifth. <laughs> oh, no. Tripta is on his out lap for the time being and Smilehead is in uh, the pit still. What's up, Mr. Hate It On? <laughs> that's a nice, uh... That's a nice account name. I gotta give you that. So what I wonder is, who's the one we're seeing... Oh, he's just parked further up. Of course, he is. Makes good sense. So it is Tripta on his out lap. It'll be the final driver to uh, qualify. Will he have the time or was he already out? That's the question. That is indeed the question because we could have had called that it's uh... well I think he's gonna be uh, doing his lap Doc Brown also just having joined us is also gonna do his qualifying lap and I think Tripta is gonna be allowed to uh, complete his lap here he hasn't yet completed that lap so it would make sense and we also have uh, Apple mentioning that Wake CU is on his way to join the race Trip time. I'm not really uh, thinking that was an attempt to do a lap. Five minutes till race start, called out by the organizers. Oh, look at that hillside cam and the lovely focus, out of focus flowers. This is some semi abstract art we're looking at at the moment, <laughs> accompanied by the Sound of revving Audis. I guess it is four bangers.
<laughs> I like that, Wake. The call to battle between yourself and Apple. Support, yeah, support the Radish, of course, but we always support you, Radish, Apple. They have a saying in Denmark, which translates somewhat into a dear child goes by many names. <laughs> I guess that's true for you as well. And Jack Wilkinson on the cam. <laughs> for those who, uh, yeah, <laughs> for those in the know. But anyways, uh, welcome to everyone who's uh, just joining us here tonight for the uh, monthly uh, Audi TT Cup showdown. Organized by Shasha and Dr. Hash. We are getting close to uh, race start for the first heat of two for the Audi TTs. And then we're going to have the uh, a track change and then uh, a single round of the red versus black. Which I'm personally really just hugely looking forward to actually. Uh, I think it is going to be a lot of fun. better fuck android it would be nice if we had the off android as well as the off apple we could also have um the children of apple so you could have like granny smith and pink lady and but all in rotten editions i guess <laughs> yo rate the game one to ten gt sport uh all in all combined i think i'd end up with it's difficult because uh, it's difficult to just give it a rating, but overall I'd say 7.5 on me. I think it um, it lacks a little bit in terms of force feedback, especially when driving it with a wheel, but it really makes up for a lot of this stuff in being accessible and uh, hugely competitive. It looks pretty and it's uh, a lot of fun. And it has a very decent broadcast mode that I at least uh, enjoy using a lot. So uh, could maybe rate it a little bit higher even. But I think there's a lot of things that we need to see from the game that we could see that could make it a lot better. That could also uh, pull it up towards a higher rating in my world at least. But uh, so yeah, that's my rating, Mr. Hated on. So what do you mean game quality, like um, in terms of bugs and such, um, or uh, or what do you mean? I'm not sure I understand the question of game quality because I mean it's yeah it's a quality game. It um, I just sometimes feel like when I'm driving it, when compared to other even just uh, earlier Gran Turismo games or other maybe more sim orientated driving games i feel like it just lacks a bit of feel uh it lacks a level of depth and the force feedback that i uh that i really enjoy having in in other games like project cars 2 or assetto corsa anyways we have hypestack now joining i think hypestack uh, was uh, on track all along actually well, uh, the game looks great, it looks really great, but uh, it does have a little bit of bugs. Um, it seems to be that they're um, catching on from uh, update to update. Anyways, um, yeah, actually, just to finish on that, 
because there was a, a time a couple of months ago then when the game was being quite strong, wasn't running with too many bugs. It seems like uh, some of the newer updates have uh, implemented some bugs again and I hope to see them removed. And it's uh, mostly bugs that seem to be affecting these um, lobbies, the online lobbies, the custom lobbies that we're also using when we're racing. Anyways, the race is about to begin. So um, enough <laughs> game rating and uh, let's get it underway. So of course it's calm on pole position in front of uh, Kenny, my fellow Dane, Dr. Hash the organizer in third, it's VRS Stick and then uh, Finn Book in uh, fifth position, then Hypestack, Racing Swordsman and Off Apple in eighth. So the driver's off on the formation lap. And a good chance to just uh, get a better look at uh, <laughs> all these cars. And evening Darren, no it's a strong field and uh, we'll have to see, I think. Uh, Keep an eye out for uh, Chasse coming up uh, through the field. Of course, Kenny always hugely competitive. Um, one of the absolute faster, if not the fastest, Dane in the game. Oh, that was from a bit of lag. <laughs> the moment there, it looks like he was about to overcook it <laughs> on the formation lap. An unknown for me is, of course, uh, Book here from fifth position, uh, racing swordsman I haven't seen before, and Calm coming from pole position seems to have a very good bit of pace about himself. So I'm just gonna jump in with uh, Dr. Hash, who's in third position, and uh, if 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 the game will allow me to have him, here he is. Dr. Hash, welcome on board. What are your uh, expectations for uh, for this race? Oh, well, I'm expecting some close stuff here and I'm expecting lots of action uh, given uh, that we're not running ABS and all these things. I think it's going to make it all uh, the more imp all the more uh, interesting to see. So uh, I'm expecting uh, great things. And then especially from that second heat. Um, yeah, so uh, with the reverse grid order and everything, I think like last time on the Nürburgring, we're in for some great stuff. But uh, best of luck. Be best of luck to you and uh, don't pin it in turn one. <laughs> no, best of luck and uh, let's speak to you after the race. So the drivers are just about to get underway. Let's see how it goes. Oh, it's not the bad time to get a blue screen, but we're back online as uh, Calm and Kenny goes head to head down towards turn one. It is uh, the Dane getting the better run on the inside. And is he gonna keep it through turn one? He certainly is. Oh, I think it's VRS Dick getting the run on Halbstark. Then Martin Faithhausen is up into sixth position. Book in seventh now with Smilehead in eighth. Lots of action going down. Let's go on board with Dr. Hash, who's now up into second position. Oh, it's all going very quickly here. Battling with Karm, who's on the outside. Let's see behind. Oh, I think who overcooked it there? It was Karm indeed. He went way, way, way wide. He went way wide indeed. Let's have a look at what happened for the Canadian in turn two. Oh, that dreaded ABS already claiming victims. And now, of course, oh, Cobb, Cobb went, oh, goes off again in turn three. So what a disastrous start from our pole setter. Kenny seems to be clean on the way. 
Dr. Hash and Heidstack closely together in the battle for third. They seem to be on pace with the leader at the moment. Book now back up in fourth position, but with a two second gap up to Heidstack. Uh, hope you could hear what uh, Dr. Hash was saying in that short interview, but uh, if not, that's how it is. Could be some kind of issue with the uh, calm. He's running 11th, but he seems to be uh, on pace, at least for here. The thing is that if he doesn't have any kind of um, of load cell or anything to... Uh, oh, Racing Swordsman has damage. So he might be forced to pit in here. There's a lot of pressure coming from Dr. Ash. Right onto the tail of Kenny here in the battle for the lead. Further down, it's really close here in the battle for fourth as well. With Belgian Wake CU having come from way down the order, he's up into fifth now. It's Smilehead in sixth. It's Frenchman Duck Brown in seventh position. With Off Apple holding on to eighth for the time being. Further down the order, it's uh, Calm. Then it's uh, VRS Stick in the pits. He's exiting alongside Racing Swordsman. And Martin and Schatz, it seems all these four drivers had damage on lap one. So a very good evening to everyone who's just joined us here for the start of the first heat of the monthly Audi TT Cup showdown. You were, of course, at the Red Bull ring. And Kenny, my fellow Dane, is leading the race at the moment with Dr. Hash and Halbstag in close battle. I think like it's the, I feel like it's the deja vu, having uh, set the same when these cars were close at the same part of the track last time round. Let's go on board with Halbstag. Not really close enough to make any kind of move materialize. It's still 2.2 seconds down to Book in fourth position, who's uh, lost a little bit of time to Wake CU. And these two seem to be extending their advantage ever so slightly. And somewhat of a sprint race here with 16 laps, no pit stops required if you make it to the end of the race without damage, without that ABS. And mind you, their run, it is without ABS. So this uh, is probably the explanation here as Dr. Hash gets the run up the inside of the Kenny. The Kenny himself up into turn number two. And there was a little bit of a nudge actually as Halstack gets a brilliant run in there three wide on the way down to third, turn three and Kenny Retakes the lead. Halstack is going to be challenging for it though into turn three. Let's see how it goes. Pretty cleanly. Let's have. Let's just have another look at the, that situation from before. Very close racing indeed. All the way down from turn one. On board with Dr. Hash. And he got a great run on Kenny. I was just looking to see how Halbstack managed to make up so much time. It sounds like a lot of uh, tortured tires. And then he's just right there all of a sudden. Halbstack must have gotten a perfect breakthrough. And then that three wide situation from before. And now Halbstack. Oh, as Kenny goes a little wide, I think, on the last corner. And that opens up the door and turn for Halbstag. It's three cars within half a second or even less, I think. Here it comes, Halbstag for the lead. Kenny for the cutback tries to get the better run. It's a long way down to turn two. But it's also possible for Halbstag just to keep that inside line, make it very difficult for Kenny as Dr. Hash thinks about having a look up the inside of Halbstack, but then thinks twice about that as they go side by side through turn three. It's brilliant stuff here in the battle for the lead. A three-way fight that uh, very shortly looks to be a four-way as we have a flying fin who's catching up because of all the squabbling going on in front here. Halbstack sends it on to Kenny here, that's brilliant stuff indeed from Hubstack to retake the lead. Sliding in here, let's see that once more. Lines it up brilliantly. Let's just go on board. 
Oh, <laughs> heavily puts it on the curb there. Brilliant stuff indeed from Hotstack. So, ever changing positions in the top three. And now it's Hotstack leading Kenny and Dr. Hash. It's up into fourth from uh, starting in uh, fifth, but he was way down the order at some point on lap one, so it's uh, a nice comeback already. Same can be said for uh, Wake CU, though he has lost quite a bit of time to the fin in front, and now Smilehead seems to be catching up ever so slightly. Doc Brown, a little off the pace. He's now getting. Uh, Company from off Apple. So the battle for uh, seventh position seems to be coming alive. And look at that right behind. It is Calm, who had such a bad run on the first lap. He's now catching up. Oh, Kenny really tries to put some pressure onto Hypestack, but he's. Uh, he might be uh, half spicy, but he's cold as ice in that situation. Just cuts off the Dane in second. Off Apple now up into 7th position, what happened there with Doc Brown? Let's see if we can uh, catch whatever bad luck fell onto him. It's coming into turn 3. Oh, it's just l just locking up the brakes and it's just going all the way around. Poor luck indeed. Oh, and he's off once more, so it seems like... Uh, once you have an off, once you get those dirty tires, it's so hard to get the braking right. Let's rejoin the battle for the lead. Still Halbstack, Kenny and Dr. Hash. Halbstack now being managed, managing to pull away. And as I say that, Kenny gets a much better exit is now really using the slipstream. Oh, and he's getting uh, bump drafted by Dr. Hash in order to be able to... Uh, <laughs> in able to be ordered to... Oh, <laughs> these three get very, very, very close. Both Sparks and Aura here are now joining for the next round. Lovely to see. <laughs> that was... Uh, let's just uh, watch that approach once more. <laughs> into... Uh, to turn two, with a little bit of RG barging here as Kenny takes the lead and Halbstack is way down the order. So uh, I think we'll need to have another look at what just happened to, uh, oh, as he goes all the way around. F's out for Halbstack, who's no longer in the lead. He's down into fourth, fifth position, it seems fourth now. Certainly not the best bit of luck to go around in that fashion, but uh, Big, big piles of pressure at the front in that three-way battle. So close, so difficult to keep you too cool. Now it's down to two. It's Kenny and Dr. Hash still just glued together. And let's see uh, if Book, who's now up in third position, can uh, just shave off that second, get in with it in the slipstream and close the gap to the drivers in front. <laughs> yeah, you should have been faster on the trigger. There on here is Wake CU. Oh, I think Halbstack goes a little wide there. And Wake CU is gonna have a brilliant run, but looky look on top of things. It's Kenny still holding out from Dr. Ash, but I think Dr. Ash is gonna have the run on Kenny coming into turn two. And we did just buy it this time, maybe looking for uh, having the right exit. And doesn't go uh, want to go into uh, too much of the risk <laughs> squabbling. It is very much uh, a risk with these braking maneuvers without ABS. Now it's Halstack and Wake CU. I think Halstack has the run, but Wake CU might just have his bumper in front, and the Belgian certainly sends it. And he is in front, but Halstack might have the run on the exit. I think he does, and he retakes fourth. Brilliant, brilliant cutback from the German. Let's have another look. That was a strong move indeed from Halbstack. Look at that on exit. Just 
get so much earlier on the throttle. <laughs> Why the fin watch it? That's a good one indeed. So great action here, Hubstack holding on to fourth. It's now Dr. Hash having taken race lead. So is that something we can fuck? No, it's not. It's nothing we can catch. Dr. Hash leading Kenny and still Book in third. And I think it's something about saying 68 and then re in finish, but I have no possible way of knowing how to pronounce that in finish, so I'm not even gonna try. Halbstag seem just trying to get that gap down to Wake CU so he can defend more efficiently here as a smile ahead. Off Apple still in seventh position with Carm in eighth at the moment. The question is, how close are those two? They're very close indeed. As Calm now sends it on the outside. Of course, a classic overtaking spot here into uh, turn two as Apple gets it way wide, breaks late. Here, those uh, screeching tires. And it's an easy job for Calm on the corner exit. Now, Dr. Ash having built upon his lead. And he seems just to be uh, creeping away from uh, Kenny in second. As I say that, the Dane pulls in a little bit of time. The sandwich, the Dane, German Dane <laughs> sandwich watching Finn that's now in third. That's of course uh, Book, Halbstark, fourth, Wake CU, fifth. They're actually also uh, catching up, so it might be a big squabble for uh, podium spots. Here come the last uh, five, six laps of the race. Status quo, a slight spread between the cars in the top five for the first time really here. I think there's quite a bit of a battle here now in 10th position. Shaza, Shaza's run away, but it's VRS stick, it's Doc Brown, and it's the Racing Swordsman. No, this is of course VRS stick, Martin Favorsen and uh, Doc Brown, and then it's a little bit of way down to uh, the Racing Swordsman indeed. Seeing how he had the damage, taking him more time to repair his... Oh, as Dr. Hash has had some kind of incident here. And that has allowed Kenny to get right up on the back. It might have been in the corner before this, actually. Because look at this as Kenny has a launch up the inside. And we rejoin and they're still side by side, these two. Oh, so we're gonna see Kenny retake the lead. Brilliant stuff from the day. So close. So close indeed. And then of course in fourth it's Hypestack, then Wake still fifth with Smilehead in sixth. A little bit of way back. Still. Oh, as I think Dr. Ash has what can only be described as a huge moment. Halfstack goes way wide. <laughs> Let's have another look at that. Dr. Ash there. Oh my, that was a big, big moment. Look at that on break-in. Gets too much of the car onto the curb as he breaks. And gets the entire car sideways and manages to keep it. Oh, here's Wake now trying to send it for fourth against Halfstack. And once more, they're side by side on the exit of turn two. Coming down towards turn three, it's something we've seen before coming on board here with, with on board with Halbstack. We've got the Belgian up the inside this time. Oh, a little bit of a touch between the two. And I think it gained Halbstack more because he holds on to fourth.
the action is never ending here. Five laps of racing remaining. It's Kenny leading Dr. Hash. And now for the first time in the race, Book is up and uh, getting close to the leaders. Halstack in fourth, so closely followed by Wake CU. Those two have been entangled in this fight for uh, so much of this race as Wake goes a little wide on the final corner that loses him a little bit of time and then just about five seconds down from the lead pack the lead quintet it is a uh, smile ahead Khan now up into seventh off apple eighth then in ninth it is a uh, chasse as we saw before vera stick still holding on to 10th position in front of uh, martin favors and doc brown and uh, the racing swordsman who's had some poor luck here dr ash and kenny now going side by side on their way into turn two and yet another uh, skirmish between the two. It's really uh, been um, an amazing battle to watch as we go on board with Book in uh, third position. <laughs> Kenny also getting slidey on that corner exit. Makes you think that... Uh, a little bit of a gap down uh, to Halbstag and Wake in behind, but still being closed effectively at the moment by Halbstag. It seems Kenny making a mistake here. Might open the door for Dr. Hash, but he keeps the speed in the car, importantly indeed. Here we are on board with Kenny on the Wang Cam. And back on to Dr. Hash. Such a good battle. This lead battle has been for the entire race. And it's now uh, looking like it's going to go on to the very end of the race. Oh, is that a little touch from behind? Certainly there's going to be a big, big run down towards <laughs> turn two now with a... Book the Finn getting a very good run on Dr. Hash. He might just be thinking about it more than uh, actually trying to send it. And that is exactly the case. He was a little bit too far back. And he gets a poor exit and turn from uh, that turn two. He loses out ever so slightly. And it's still Dr. Hash trying to put on the pressure to Kenny. Trying to get the better of the Dane. Those two has been, have been ex exchanging positions for so long. We've seen uh, Halbstark being up there. He pinned it. He's down into fourth now, but also trying to make up those positions. And he's actually really closing up here. Uh, still three and a half laps to go. So more or less uh, anything still possible here. So a view from the car of uh, Wake CU. The Belgian, um, well, well, both NES and uh, TSR regu regular. He has a, a very good view actually <laughs> over the leading battle. And the more it begins to bunch up and train up in front of, uh, of him, well, the more of an advantage it's going to be for the Belgian because he might just be in to gain a little bit of spots, a little bit of uh, extra glory for himself. Kenny's still just trying to defend. Oh, as he gets very slidey on the exit or on the entrance, excuse me, to uh, turn to Dr. Hash. This might be the opportunity that he's been waiting for. But somehow Kenny just manages to get a good exit anyways. Getting on the throttle early as soon as the car pointed in the right direction. This time, however, there's no saving Kenny who goes way wide into turn three. Ooh la la, and also Bukri gets past, I think. Certainly does. So the Finn now up into second place, if he can hold on to this. He certainly can. Let's have another look at the uh, bad luck of Kenny from before going on board with the Dane. 
and he simply just outbreaks himself. And not much he could really do about it in the end. He's down into third position now. It's a good opportunity for uh, Dr. Hash to win this, but it's an even better opportunity. And Kenny did, oh my God, Kenny killed himself. That's something we haven't heard on South Park ever. Evening to you, Ethan. It's nice to see you. <laughs> what do you know about that? <laughs> Anyway, Dr. Ash still leading. Oh, Hudstack now getting close to Kenny. He has a little touch and I think that might open up for Wake on the inside, but he's still just locked in behind. Book in second now within half a second. He's actually within three tenths now of Dr. Hash. He's really within the slipstream. Penultimate lap action. This as Wake is trying to send it as well. Let's take a look here. Oh, I think he might just get it this time. <laughs> oh, Ethan, I hope you would never come forward to tell the world of those things. <laughs> oh, Dr. Hash still leading book, but it's really close between these two. It's on the penultimate lap, as mentioned before. There's now a second down to Kenny in third. And he in turn also has a little bit of a gap down to Wake CU, just having claimed fourth position from Halfstack through a brilliant move here. Also on the penultimate lap, a little bit of the touch between the two here. It's uh, so close there basically just glued together as they have been since uh, Habstack came back on from his exit and now Habstack is trying somewhat of an unorthodox move here up on the inside of Wake through the final bit of the track and he does have some space up the inside he is gonna send it and he is gonna retake fourth position great stuff from Habstack Kenny goes a little wide <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you have any better uh, ways of of saying puke or book or uh, it's it's a tough it's a tough one I think Dr. Hash final lap he has a fin really vying for it on his outside he's gonna attempt for the cutback but Dr. Hash look at that he just blocks him on the outside Brilliant stuff, brilliant move, all fair game, fair play. Halstag has put the gap into uh, Wake for the time being at least. It'll require a mistake. Book. <laughs> we can say book. Yeah, book. It's probably book. Okay, there run. We'll have it your way. There run wins. It's book. <laughs> Dr. Hash still fending off the fin in second. Of course, it's Book now. <laughs> Kenny in third. Halbstack fourth still wakes you. Karma up into sixth. Smilehead seconds, that is. Shusses taken eighth, but it is going to be Dr. Hatch that organizes victory here from the Red Bull ring, right in front of Book, who did a brilliant return from being down in eighth uh, position on the first lap. Halbstack, after having lead, well, he uh, led the race, he uh, binned it, he finished four here in uh, the first heat. Wake takes sixth Karm, uh, or fifth Karm, and uh, that is sixth Smilehead in 7th, Shasha 8th off, Apple just manages to bring his car across the line for ninth place. VRS Stick, Martin Fabersen, Duck Brown and Racing Swordsman all seem to have some uh, problems with damage. So I have to say a very nice race indeed. Congratulations to uh, Dr. Hash. Great job by uh, Boop there, uh, bringing it up the way um, through the field. And what a bit of action. I can't recall a lap in this race that didn't have end-to-end -end brilliant stuff. Overtaking, attempting, 
side by side racing, three wide racing. It was absolutely phenomenal, at least in my humble opinion. <laughs> Kenny coming with excuses of uh, Alex distracting him in voice chat. However, we know that that Alex, GT Alex, can be a distracting man indeed. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> tough luck. Can you tell him to uh, back off for the next race and maybe we'll pick up another win? Even though I think it'll be hard for Kenny coming from the back of the field for race two. So what a race, <laughs> what a race indeed. Yeah, Ethan, uh, shall we take the entire? I'm sorry, good luck. No, it's this one is the funny one. I have trouble with these cores. I have trouble with this guy adjusting the setting. <laughs> Starting soon. <laughs> Evening, Nilsa, and uh... Nice to see you as always. And that's exactly what I mean, Kenny. All about race two now. <laughs> so now for the 15 lap race. Up perhaps now from Aura. Also a chance to spark for Sparks to uh, get a bit of warming up done. And as you see, just those drivers, those two guys, are uh, the first ones to uh, to gain a little of uh, gain a little practice time here in between heats. Between the heats. <laughs> Is that a new? Uh, is that a new hot bedside tune by the Eilie Brothers? <laughs> Racing themed between the heats. Oh, some freaky shit goes down between the heats. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> also Smilehead and Apple. Uh, but to be fair, indeed, these heats, the first heat here was very heated. There was uh, an amount of battling that I think I've rarely seen, and even if in some of the more competitive series like the TSR or uh, the uh, and even the IGTL and so on, um, but we're of course just um, readying, I think, our little um, sponsor interlude or our little uh, promotional um, interlude for uh, German singer Melamia, if we can get the the cars on track and then we will be uh, playing her song through this very microphone <laughs> and I'm straight up be doing my best to keep a straight face <laughs> I of course won't be expecting any of you to do the same, but I will be expecting you to be huge fans of Melamia by the time we're done with this broadcast. <laughs> anyway, um, getting uh, getting close to uh, to that. It's just going to be a single lap of running. Unlimited power! <laughs> the memes just present themselves to me. 
Uh, can I find the doctor? Here it is. Oh, here it is. Okay, it's time, ladies and gentlemen. I present to you Melarima. Such a perfectly timed exit as the two uh, Melarima cars pass the finishing line. <laughs> Leaves me speechless for a minute. <laughs> as uh, calm is quickest in practice. <laughs> and Doug Brown managing to be a little more competitive than he seemed to be in the first heat. <laughs> uh, thank you, Ethan. I know. Um, I know I'm talented, and I'm glad you recognize the talent as well. Uh, I need a drink. <laughs> anyway, we're getting very close to race start for the second heat, which is, and if it's gonna be as interesting as the first one, well, tell your friends to get in and join the party. Because uh, a party it certainly will be, I think I can guarantee you that much. Remember, we're gonna have reverse grid order from uh, qualifying results for uh, Heat 2. And that means that uh, I think we're gonna be seeing quite a bit of uh, drivers having to muscle their way uh, through the field. And that always makes for some um, interesting stuff. In Oh, a bit of warp speed going on from Dr. Brown. Here is um, Aura Io being back as well for the second heat, joining as alongside Sparks 360. And the question is, will they be starting from the front of the bunch? I think so indeed. You think we can do like Discord online covers alongside one another? No, Martin, it's uh, qualifying salts, um, if I'm not completely mistaken. I might very well just be, but I don't think so. <laughs> exactly, Ethan is gonna be anticipating the latency ourselves. Humanly. I'll tell him.
but then a moment after it's uh, I don't know if it's all better but it seems to be a bit better seemingly a <laughs> couple of drivers uh, music And an important point as well to make, this time no formation lap for uh, Heap 2, so it's going to be a standing start. And they're going to be... Uh, <laughs> going to be humming down towards uh, turn 1 of... Mm, revving out, no traction control. No, I don't think so, but anyway. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. And of course... Um, that's in turn one of the reasons why. Oh, I've, it might be my internet, internet connection that's really suffering here. I'm afraid. Since we're seeing these lag spikes happening to everyone at the same time. <laughs> Look at these drivers. Okay, I, I need to rejoin this lobby. Oh my god. Uh, just a second, I need to... Uh, is on my side. And that can be interpreted in different ways. Um... <laughs> I hope they wait for me before uh, getting the race underway. I also truly hope that uh, just uh, giving this <laughs> temporary, just deleting the data there will... Uh, and rejoining will hope, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully work out. But <laughs> that surely was... Uh, That's the most disco dancing I have seen in quite, quite, quite a while indeed. So we're getting close to a race start on the second heat. We're actually getting ready, cl really close. Why, right now, it might just be us or me and my internet connection that we're waiting for. Um, let's just have a look. I hope, I do hope that it's... Seems it's all better. Does seem it all better? Yeah. I like it that the broadcaster is the first one to say, Yeah, I'm ready! <laughs> of course, um... Uh, Oh no, that's <laughs> super GT intro stuff going on there. Let's just hope it disappears for the race. Otherwise, this is going to be a very interesting race to broadcast. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Let's see. Standing start. This time around, it's Martin Fayperson in front of Chasse, Off Apple, Racing Swordsman, Halbstack. Then it's uh, Book. Then it's uh, Vera Stick. Dr. Hash in 8th, and then uh, Kenny, Calm, Doug Brown, Smilehead, and Wake. And they're off, ladies and gentlemen, they're off on their way towards uh, turn 1. Someone seemed to have a poor start, but all along the lines it seems to be pretty clean indeed. It might have been a penalty for uh, just jumping the start ever so slightly. Close on their way down to turn on uh, towards turn two. It's just a leading. Halbstack, Martin off Apple is the racing swordsman. 
having a good battle, it seems here, with VRS Stick. VRS Stick muscling his way from 6th up to 4th in a single corner. Great stuff from the Brit. Oh, as off Apple gets hugely slidey and somehow manages to catch that one coming back onto the track after having a very big moment indeed. It was a... It's just a... Let's just have another look at that. Look at F off Apple. As he breaks into here, look at that, <laughs> that slide and look at the catch. And also a big piece of going wide from somewhere in behind. What's that? Oh, it's a good question. There's a lot of action. Let's just jump back with the leaders. It's Schasse, Halbstag and Martin close together indeed. Then it's VRS Stick, Racing Swordsman, Off Apple, it's Calm, it's Kenny in 8th position at the moment. Let's go on board with Halmstack. He's gonna have the opportunity to attack Schasse, but he's just gonna hold off, I think, as Schasse opts to defend. Martin Faversen might, however, have the opportunity to now send it, as I think there's a little bit of a bad exit from Halmstack. On his way out of turn one, Martin sure is very, very close here, but ups not to attack into turn two. But that might just be the move on the exit. No, it doesn't get the run. Here is Dick still fourth within half a second of the leaders. So in turn and indeed also very close to the action. I can say that much. Shasa hoping for better luck than uh, the last time out. Still under pressure from Halbstack, who was certainly there all race. And Martin Fay version, maybe just being able to uh, to push his way through. Of course, without actually pushing his way through, as VRS stick gets it very wide through that middle sector. He loses out on some time. A racing Swordsman now. I think he's gonna go for the move. Oh, a little bit of squeeze there from Stick on the inside. That's his best chance of defending. And I think he actually makes it happen. He can hold on to it around here. Oh, there's a huge pack of cars just around the rears from what happened before. Look at that squabble going on. Look at that bit of battling, it's absolutely amazing as they make their way into third turn one. It's three, four wide even, I think. Hard to keep track of at the moment. This lower midfield scrap. It's really all happening here at the moment. Still a battle for the lead. Schasse defending from Halbstack and Martin. Let's go further back here. Checking out it's Kenny now up into sixth. Dr. Hash in seventh. Smile at an eighth. And Kenny and Dr. Hash are side by side now for turn three. So let's see if the German can get a better break in. Very difficult one here downhill. And I think he does. Simple overtake for uh, Dr. Hash. Still has to defend. Just have a look at that situation from before. Because that was absolutely uh, packed with cars here. Let's see from Smilehead. And look behind as it's Wake seeing you. See you ducking and diving. Off Apple getting a terrible run from the last corner. Then in behind that 2 3 wide situation. And that sparks 360. Absolutely sending it on Wake. But they get slightly detached from that group afterwards. So back up with leader Schasse, he's got a 4 tenth gap now, half a second building down to Halbstack. Martin also slightly getting distance, and Schasse getting close to the 37th that he also hit in uh, practice. Vera Stick in 4th, uh, but he's a couple of seconds down, he's got a little bit of a gap down to Racing Swordsman as well at the moment. Kenny, oh Kenny, I think he has made a little bit of a mistake because uh, he went from sixth to eighth in one corner. Well, seventh though, Dr. Hash made his way through, so it's no mistake for Kenny. But it is a legit move from Smilehead up the inside in turn one, and makes that one stick. Nice one indeed. 
Oh, <laughs> Smiley up getting slided. Kenny might have to run on the exit this time around. Let's see in behind. Something seemed to happen. But not even. And still smile at the German defending from uh, Kenny. Yes, that's a Ricardo-esque launch from Kenny. Smile at defense brilliantly from it, but that was a, from a long way back. <laughs> Let's just have another look at that. As all of a sudden he was up the inside. Bit of a shame we didn't actually get to properly catch it from uh, Kenny's car. So Shasta now uh, stabilizing the lead. It's a second. And for the first time I think he's really put Halbstack out of the slipstream. Though Martin now getting really close to Halbstack. VRS stick still two and a half seconds down. It's Dr. Hash now having gotten the better of Smilehead and Kenny. Dr. Hash up into fifth position. So the winner of the first heat really moving up through the pack as well. Evening to you as well. Fair thinking. Good to see you. Of course, thanks for joining in. And, um, and uh, you've joined right in time here for heat two. Maybe not right on time because heat one was a whole lot of action. He too certainly has uh, proved to be the same, so far at least. Uh, yeah, so my track limits. Should we call him tell CJ? <laughs> oh, sorry. Perhaps it was too soon. The Greek isn't here, so uh, what do I care? <laughs> ah, no, no. It's a good guy. Anyway, Kelly, Kenny defending now from Aura and Smilehead finding himself down in 8th position. Let's just have another look at that turn before because I think there was a little bit of an attempt. No, that happened down in turn 2. So, Kenny... Now really under pressure from Aura and Smilehead. It seems that in front of these drivers it's splitting ever so slightly. Martin might have made some kind of mistake because he's really losing. He's got a... I think he got a kind of a bad run. Down towards the final turn. And that... And it puts him out of contention. Well, not out of contention completely, but uh, at least out of the slipstream of Halbstag. It's going to be some doing catching up to uh, Shasa in front, who's really just charging along. VRS stick holding his own in fourth, but Dr. Hash is catching up. And now there's a real squabble as it's Kenny and Aura still going at it. Oh, now there's a bit of contact between Smilehead and Aura as they come through turn two. Let's have a look. On board with the Smilehead who comes down from 8. There's a big squeeze from Kenny on the outside. Gives Aura no space. Then a big slide and turn and a little bit of a nudge between the two. It might actually have been hard enough for damage. But let's hope not. Good question. Good question, Shoma. I don't think, uh, I think he's a driver if I, I don't think he has, I don't know if he has a diver's license, but he might be scuba diving, who knows. But he's close to Aura in front, Kenny having broken away now, ever so slightly at least. It's uh, Book in 9th, it's uh, Wake in 10th, in 11th, it's uh, Calm closely followed by Doc Brown and Off Apple in 13th, and then down in 14th, it's uh, 14th, it's Sparks. Who's had some kind of incident, some kind of bad luck. Shaza now getting a good run, it seems, out of the first corner. He's pushing his uh, advantage. But the same goes for Halbstag, who's also increasing down to Martin. And Dr. Hash, I think he'll be closing up to VRS Stick by now. Also in behind, it's Aura and Kenny. Still close indeed. 
and they haven't gotten rid of Smilehead as well. Kenny, I think, gets a little bit of a bad exit, and that allows Aura, and he has to... She, uh, he, she, Aura has to run off the inside as they come towards turn three, and it is gonna be a difficult one to defend for Kenny. Kenny, the big luck there. Kenny, keep that position. If he can, it's gonna be the defensive move of the day. I call it brilliant stuff from Kenny indeed. Let's have another look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Another look it is worthy of indeed because he's so far behind. He goes wide, he keeps it out there, he gets early on the power. And he manages to squeeze that Audi in front of the Audi of Aura. And that's brilliant, brilliant stuff indeed from Kenny. Really showing what he's made of here. Such a skilled racer. Good at that door-to-door -door stuff. Indeed, a little bit of a touch from Smilehead. I think once more to the rear bumper of Aura. And he might in turn give one of them a little bit of a helping hand with the bump draft on the way down to turn two. If they can all keep it composed through turn one, indeed, oh, going very wide there and gets a big, big nudge off. Oh, Kenny, oh, Kenny. That's a bit. <laughs> I won't comment too closely on that. <laughs> that was a bit of a buzz of a. Oh, thanks, Daron. <laughs> that's not your Kenny. No, I was just about to say is that that's it's that uh, your Kenny as well, Shuma. <laughs> Interesting there. Anyway, um, Shasa still leading, and he's extended that gap. It's up to 1.8 seconds, almost two seconds now. Still status quo on that one and a half seconds between uh, Hypestack and Martin. Vieira's stick is uh, closing the gap ever so slightly, but so is Dr. Hash. He's about to get close. Yeah, no doubt that smile should have let off and... Uh, just uh, instead of trying to get the run by abusing track limits, that is a little annoying, of course, in this situation. I do understand where the frustration comes from, <laughs> but uh, certainly one way to tell it. Dr. Hash trying to close up on VRS stick. And there's a five second gap down to Aura, Kenny, and Smilehead. And then in behind, it's Book now catching up because of all the squabbling. Evening to Hundi, nice to see you. Hope you're doing well. Hope you are uh, having an uh, enjoyable Monday, as enjoyable as Mondays now can be. They aren't by nature the most enjoyable thing in the world. Oh, now it's Book getting very close to Smilehead. Let's see if the Finn can, uh, can send it. He was really strong at passing in the last race. He seemed to have it uh, really under control. In all of these situations, look, he gets really close. But will he be able to uh, get close enough on corner exit? That is the good question. And how am I? Nice. Oh, good. Uh, thanks for asking, Hundi. I'm very well. I had a very chill day at my work as well. Um, so I came down. I um, came down. I came. I didn't come down from work, but I came home from work fresh and relaxed and. Nice and uh, really looking forward for uh, this broadcast and it really also in turn has showed off to be some incredible racing so far. We've seen some really close door to door, door to door stuff and more overtakes than you see in an entire season of Formula One. Checking in with third place, it's uh, Martin Favreisen just to see if he's keeping up with Halbstack. He is losing ever so slightly. He's also losing to Stick, but Stick, I think, made a big mistake there, and that might open the door for Halbstack. Oh, he's not anywhere near close enough yet. So let's go back with that battle for, uh, well, what is now 7th, 8th, and 9th position with a Book, or a Book, who's getting uh, ever closer. Shoma, that always uh, hypes me up, and I am. Um, um, that's one more thing to get excited about. Well, I'll be ready. I'll be. Uh, I'll be ready for the talks. But you know me, Shuma. I'm just looking forward to the next IGTL event. 
no matter, basically no matter what. I mean, you can have me broadcasting 24 hours of uh, Samba bus on uh, Northern Island Speedway, I guess, would still be uh, Northern Ireland. That was almost Northern Ireland Speedway. That's something different. That's something else. <laughs> I don't know if that even exists. Oh, now Smilet getting a run at Book, who just got the better of him before, and now he's retaking that. Eighth position, and the Finn is back to uh, the role of the attacker. Oh, you're both here, Shaman and Alex. <laughs> oh, now I feel like I'm getting uh, caught up in some things. I should never have said it's dangerous being on record like this. <laughs> Still a good battle going on here. Shasha really looking strong there in the lead. Let's see. Up in front. I think that's the battle for fourth position coming alive. It's Dr. Hash now really getting close to the slipstream of the, of uh, VRS stick in front. And if the German can catch it here on corner exit. Oh, he goes a little wide there. It's a good wonder why he... Uh, chooses to go back and forth like this unintentional replay punch <laughs> so dr hash losing out from that bit of swerving he did before Intended or unintended, but there's still a big battle here as it's now Smilehead making his way up into seventh position. Let's see if we can catch the overtake. Just about not, it seems, but really close stuff there still for seventh position. Kenny now down in ninth. It's uh, Book who's now up in um, eighth. Duck Brown in tenth position, but he's a bit of a way back. And we have. Um, Four laps of racing left. Oh, as Doc Brown gets a little bit wide through the middle sector. Oh, 